Oh, howdy, kitties. Dr. Freedom here with the Times from Dr. News. News from in around the universe that may or may not oh, affect you on some level. Um, forgive me if I'm in a bit of a mood tonight. Just a lot of weirdness going on. And But let's get to the news, shall we? Now, George, Cap George Baker, a.k.a. George Capaldi on Twitter, is being trolled. Now, there's a bunch of weird circumstances going on. But like I said, all I can say is, look, dude, it happens to me all the time. The only thing you can do is keep going, keep your head held high, and screw them. You know, it's, you know, they're they're just jealous of you. They're going to do anything to get at you. And sadly, that's the truth. I don't know why people are jealous of me. It's not like I'm making a million dollars an episode. I, I can't figure this out. I'm just a guy who lived, uh, it was an average everyday factory worker living out in the middle of freaking nowhere in Ohio who comes on YouTube and gives Dr. News, but for some reason, I'm a threat to society. Yeah. Okay, but, all right, let's get into the news, because he was, he actually went out, and he asked Edward Russell, he goes, I hope you don't mind me asking, but after the finale, are you going to be in, if, or are you going to go right into filming the Christmas special, or are you taking a break, and apparently the word is, there's going to be a short break first. He did not go into any details about how long, you know, or whatever. Just there, you know, you see it right there. That's the answer. So, you know, it depends. Are they going to film over the summer or what's going to go on with that? We do not know yet. Um, but moving on. Now, I love how Cold Box, we talked about this, what, two days ago now? About the season 10 episode, 10 episode titles revealed in the trailer. Sorry, you're hidden in. Sorry, I love it. You know, I hate some Chinese food today. And normally, it, you know, I love Chinese food and it hits me the right way, but sometimes a little bit gassy, you know, a little bit gassy. All right. So, what also what's nice is they've included some info we already have. So, if you want to update yourself on a little bit of what's going on with episode one through five, it's all right here. Don't worry. There's nothing really, really spoilery right there. So, you know, I don't think it's going to you know, ruin your season if you take a look at this particular article, all right? All right, cinema release has been confirmed for the first episode of Doctor Who Season 10, and word is, so far, this is U.S. only. That's the word I'm hearing. Okay, Season 10's opener premieres on TV, of course, on the 15th of April, and it will then be shown in U.S. cinemas on Monday the 17th and Wednesday the 19th. Tickets will go on sales eight days from now, the 10th of March. Runtime is being listed as one hour, 40 minutes, but that's also likely to include, you know, the exclusive bonus content as it has, you know, previously, you know, with other theater releases. So it's what you call it, but it's sort of based on this total runtime, though, it seems we can assume that this is a feature length episode and not just a regular 45 minute story. A cinema release in the UK and elsewhere worldwide has not yet been announced. So we're going to have to keep our eye on that for you guys over the pond. All right. But here's the thing that gets me. When did 75, 60 minutes, 65 minutes and anything like be considered feature length? I'll tell you why. Since the 50th anniversary special, that should have been a hell of a lot longer. But you know how I harp on about that. I still can't get over that. That's my fault. You know, I'm trying to forget it, you know, especially with the passing of John Hurt, which is making me sad. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I got to go get that. I forgot to get the John Hurt cover to show you. You folks have been running around today on the internet have seen it. And that they're going to dedicate the one entire episode of, um, the all the doctor magazine to john you know john hurt i'll have to have that up for you tomorrow or maybe later I, I, I've, it's just been a weird oddball day <sighs> I, I that's right i've been finishing up writing on death moon eight and i was getting that done today while i had the time weeping angels river song and the monk are back to face the doctors and this is of course for big finish all right and if you want here all the titles here are initially are initially are available sorry the, 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 hey, oh, hey, okay, all titles are initially available exclusively from the Big Finish website right here. And if you want, here's the titles and here's a little synopsis and tells you a little bit about each story. All right, but you know, some of these you may not recognize, like this one here is First Man in the Moon. This is not Doctor Who. They've been doing a collection of stories based off the collected works of H.G. Wells. Uh, matter of fact, John Hurt did The Invisible Man before he passed. I believe that's already been released, if I remember. I think I still have it here somewhere. And I'm really looking forward to listening to it. It's just I got stuck into the Dark Tower movies again, and I just can't get it back out. You know, the, the Dark Tower novels, I mean. And Charlotte Pollard Series 2, that's a Series 8 companion who's gone off to do her own thing and she got her own box set and it's been a while since series one so 
I'm just wondering what took them so long on series two, but, and Torchwood, the Torchwood audios are most, for the most part, are pretty damn good. Um, especially the fact that they're bringing back Owen Harper and they're all, you know, and the fact they've brought back Todd, they brought back the whole crew now, ex- including, you know, like Susie, um, Yvonne Hartman, you know, all them folks are back because they've been doing stories that take place before Canary Wharf. And it's really, really good stuff. So, all right, Zaltus is fifth doctor, if I remember right, with Tegan, Nissa, and Adric. And they've done some weird new work on the latest ones with uh, Matthew Waterhouse doing Adric. Now, when he first came back for the fifth doctor box set, they, you, know, you could tell he's gotten a lot older. But somehow somebody's been tweaking the sound a little bit. I know they have. They've been doing a little bit of pitch shift and a little bit of cleanup because he almost sounds now exactly like he did on the show. So good on whoever's been doing that sound mixing for that. All right, big finish again. Coming soon, Doctor Who Classic Doctor's New Monsters, Volume 2. Uh, we're going to have the fourth Doctor and the eighth Doctor facing off against the Vashta Narada. Oh, yeah. So that's how you know how the Doctor knows all about him because he's been pains in his rear before. Kind of like cosmic hemorrhoids that hang around in the shadows. They literally hang around where the sun don't shine. All right. And uh, fifth Dr. Peter Davison will be taking on the Rachnos. You remember them, the Rachnos? You know, Spider Lady, Runaway Bride. And also, Colin Baker will be taking on the Carrionites. Remember them from the Shakespeare Code? Yes, the Carrionites. So, and a, lot, and a whole lot more. I'm going to don't worry. Links for all articles I'm discussing, you know, for you folks who do not know this, will be below in the description box, as you know, always. Chris Chibnall and a female Doctor Who, nothing is ruled out, but I don't want the casting to be a gimmick. You see, <laughs> as much people have heard, you want a female Doctor, it's going to destroy the show. I said, no, if they decide to go with a female Doctor, I will accept it because I think it would be kind of something new and invented. Plus, you know, as much as I'm getting sick of all the gender swapping stuff they've been doing lately for like movies, like let's bring back this only with a different female cast and maybe we'll make it better, you know. Then again, hell, I even like the Ghostbusters movie. Sure, it's never going to stand up to the original. The original is like gods on Olympus, Olympus, Olympus. But still, it was, you know, you know Kate McKinnon in that movie was freaking phenomenal. So, but so I'm not saying they got to go out and do it to save the show. That's another one I've been seeing drifting around. They got to do it to save the show. Oh, my goodness gracious. Gosh. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I can't honestly say that nothing has yet been decided. He told the last Angley, at least Angley in Daily Times. I have, haven't got my feet under the table yet. I've been working on the play, new comedy, worst wedding ever. And I'm still finishing the latest series of Broadchurch. Nothing is ruled out, but I don't want the casting to be a gimmick. And that's all I can say. <laughs> yeah, where it is, um, somebody put up, oh, heck, I should have kept this one. It was about a week or so ago, somebody put up that apparently casting calls have already gone out to certain actors and actresses. But then again, they did use the term actors, and that's become the new politically correct thing for actresses. Well, I don't know why. And then again, I can see how, you know, but still. It's, all right, moving on before I really tie my tongue. Buffy star Anthony Head wouldn't say no to succeeding Peter Capaldi in Doctor Who, and it's not going to happen. I'll tell you why. Because this is right up there with the Tilda Swinton thing. This is a wish list candidate. Um, as much as I would love to see him in the role, I'm laying money. You're going to see a much younger actor come back in because they're going to try to get all the, you know, try to bring in a younger audience again is what it is. And I think that's why they sold Capaldi down the river. All right. Exclusive 12th Doctor Adventure on audiobook. Audiobook. That's fabulous. Okay. This month's Dr. Audio Bucks from the BBC Showcase of the, as a, or the, the, the Showcase, a Fifth Doctor Classic, and an original adventure for the Twelfth Doctor, also played by Peter Capaldi. Okay, both releases are available now. Check out the details and the artwork below. Yeah. I'm feeling a little musical today, and maybe that's cheering me up a little bit. So here's all the details you need on these. Wham, bam, hoopity dee, here you go. All right, moving on. Over about Blogger Who, we have, sorry about that, free Doctor Who Series 10 art cards if you sign up with the BBC store. Yeah, where were these when I signed up, you jackasses? All right. (laughs) 
Okay, BBC Store is not advertising Series 10 as coming soon, and it's time to register your interest in the digital format. And those lucky first 500 who sign up for a free Series Pass will also get exclusive art cards. Here's all the details. Chances are by now, bang, 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 bang there's gone. I'm not kidding. That stuff goes fast. But you know, if you want to look into it, here's the link right here if you want to go check it out and see if there's anything still available. All righty. Moving on. In the last bit, we're going to finish with the tenant. Oh, God. Fabulous. Okay. All right. We're sorry. We're so sorry. David Tennant will not be reprising the role as a doctor. He was asked if he'd like to see, you know, like, you know what he, who he'd like to see as the 13th doctor. He goes, I'm not even whispering. Can you imagine? I'm saying nothing. You say half a sense and there's a headline. Um, on a potential you know, female actor being cast in the role, he said anything is possible. And he's already said that basically he does not think it works that way. He, I don't think he's interested in going back to it. You know, maybe, you know, for a special or something like that, I can see him doing it. But come on, he's had his time in the big TARDIS. He's, you know, I think he's, you know, happily moved on to more interesting things. Whew. But speaking of Dave Tennant, while we're still here, you get your first look of him as, you know, well, I don't know why they call it a first look because it's a cartoon, but he's providing your voice, you know, for you folks who do know of Scrooge McDuck and the newly revamped DuckTales that Disney's putting out, which by the way, they've already put out today that it's already been renewed for a series two and the sucker hasn't even aired in a single episode yet. So this is probably something else Dave's going to be working on for a little while in his spare time. So if you want to look at the clip, bam, bam, but hee ha, there it is right there for you. And lastly for today, your TV license going up. Oh, that wasn't good news, was it? I threw this on for our British viewers because I do got a lot of British viewers. I know that. Um, your TV license fee is about to go up and really soon. Here's some details on that. I'm hearing it's going to be like a, a pound 50. Yeah, there it is. 145.50 to 147. And this will be effective. Oh, look at this. Of all the days to pick, you flaming jackasses. Saturday, April 1st. Talk about screwing with you. Uh -huh. April 1st. <laughs> so... There's a little more details in it if you want to read about it. There's not a whole lot, but still. I figured this is something significant, considering that's where Doctor Who gets maids over in Great Britain. So, yeah. Okay, so, like I said, it's been a weird, weird kind of day, a little topsy-turvy. But you got to move on. You, you can't let yourself be anchored down by, you know, things. Things happen. Things you have to deal with, you know. You know, sometimes, you know, you just got to be patient and let things work themselves out. And that's all you can do. Also, you know, if you're being trolled on the Internet, all I can tell you is this. Don't listen to any of it. I like this. I've got this one guy calling me. Oh, my God, he's so fat. Yeah, I also eat babies, by the way. I, I do. Matter of fact, I like dipping one in A1 sauce and just down in that sucker like a chicken wing. I'm sorry. It's like I've had my weight made fun of now for going on. 40 years, 40 years. So it's not like you're really affecting me in any way. I'm just pointing at you and laughing if you're out there, you know. And also, if you can down thumb my videos with your little bots all you want, I'm still going to be here making videos long after you've given up the ghost or finally after your mom kicks you out of the basement and makes you go get a job. So, ah, well, what can you do? So until next time, kitties, take care of time for the rest of your day. Back to freedom. Love you, baby.